Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create it so you can have the sun in the actual position it would be in that place in the world. So let's say you're building a game in Auckland or the game is set in Auckland sorry and you want it to be around about half three in the afternoon on today's date to so the 23rd of May. This is what the sun would be like in Auckland right about now if we were there. So if it was about half three on the 23rd of May in Auckland, the sun would be there like this. Or if we wanted to set it to London, I'll show you what that looks like. And so if we were in London right now, this is what it would be like instead. So the sun is all the way up there because it is half three and the 23rd of May in London. So big difference there, obviously being because Auckland right now are in winter kind of time. Here in London, it's kind of coming into summer because obviously different side of the equator, complete opposite seasons. So it's quite a cool little plugin that we have. We can just simply set where we want the game to be set and the sun will update perfectly like that. You can then obviously integrate this with my day night cycle video as well, meaning that we then have the day night cycle in the perfect position in the sky for that area. So again, this is a neat little plugin. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So this is actually very simple because like I say, it is a plugin which we can use, which will just do all of it for us automatically. We don't really need to do anything other than just tell it where we are in the world. So to enable the plugin, we're gonna to go to edit and then plugins. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just search for the sun position calculator, tick it so it's enabled, and then you'll need to restart your engine and it should come up with a nice little restart button down here. So once you've restarted it and it's all enabled, we can then go find the blueprints which you'll include. So to do that, we're gonna press this little folder icon here next to content, just to the left of it, to choose a path. And then we're gonna scroll down or search for the sun position content there. We don't want C++ classes, unless obviously you're doing it in C++. I just want the normal one there. And you can see we now have the sun position and the sun sky. I'm not gonna use the sun sky at all. I'm just gonna drag in the BP sun position there. And as soon as I drag it in, you see the sun has already changed and we have this nice little compass here. So I'm just gonna drag that in, placing it there. You can see this compass has north, east, south, and west on it, obviously pointing to where those positions are. So what we're gonna do is we can select this compass so we have the BP sun position selected here and we can change the different values down here, again, very simply. So we have the location, the date, and time, which is obviously the three different values it needs to find where the sun should be. So I'm again gonna use London and Auckland as two different examples, because obviously London, I'm from England. Auckland is basically the complete opposite end of the globe, so it gives you the real other perspective of where it's gonna be. So to start with London, I'm just gonna give the rough latitude and longitude. Latitude is obviously how far north and south it is. So London is about 51 degrees north. And then on the longitude, it is roughly zero degrees west. It's about 0.1, but I'm just gonna leave it at zero. The time zone is how far ahead or behind it is of UCT, or CUT, sorry, for Coordinated Universal Time, which is also equal to Greenwich Mean Time, which is obviously Greenwich Mean Time is the London time. However, currently we're not in Greenwich Mean Time, we're in British Summer Time, which is one hour ahead. So for London right now, I'm gonna set it to time zone of one for one hour ahead. The year, I'm just gonna have it as today. So I'm gonna have 2021, month, the 5th for May, day 23rd, and then I'm gonna do the hours as well. So the currently at the moment it's eight o'clock in the morning. I don't want that. I'm gonna have three o'clock in the afternoon, so 15 minutes. I'm gonna put it as 36 seconds. I'll leave it as it is. And now you can see that the sun is all the way up there currently right now for the 23rd of May at about half three in the afternoon. And if I look out my window, because I'm near enough London, that looks accurate to where the sun should be and where it is. Again, obviously if I just change this to zero, so it is just now GMT. Let's say I change this, so instead of May, it's gonna be December. This is what it would look like. So about half three in the afternoon, the sun is setting. As you can see there, it's perfectly sunset, which makes sense. 23rd of December, about half three in the afternoon, the sun's gonna be setting in London. So that works perfectly, very easy to set up and customize. So now I'm gonna show you Auckland as well. It's essentially gonna be the exact same thing, but I'm gonna show you anyway, just to show you how easy it is to change. So the coordinates for Auckland, which is obviously in New Zealand, is about 36 latitude. However, it's 36 degrees south. So what I'm gonna do is I can't just put in 36 degrees, because that's gonna be north. 
what I need to do is put in minus 36 because that is then 36 degrees below the equator. So a positive number is above the equator or north of the equator and a negative number is south of the equator. And longitude, a positive number is east and a negative number is west. So what I'm going to do is it's 174 degrees east so I can just put in 174 degrees. And because I've kept the dates the same at the moment, it's still going to be the 23rd of December, which, as you can see, is the sun is somewhere. It's down there. So the 23rd of December, at about half three in the afternoon, the sun is setting. Not too sure why, because it should be the middle of summer. Also, sorry, what I've just forgot to mention a second ago is what I did was I changed the time zone to plus one for British summertime. However, down here there is, is daylight saving time, which you can obviously tick and untick to get it perfect for what it should be. So that way you don't need to do the calculations yourself. And then I'm gonna change the month to let's say, again, May, 23rd of May, and about half three in the afternoon once again, the sun is all the way down there. The sun has already set, because again, it's coming into winter for them, half three in the afternoon, the sun's gonna set. Let's set it to instead March, 23rd of March, again a little higher, January, all the way up there, if we set it to November, it's getting higher. So as you can see, this is now working perfectly. It's very easy to customize to get the position exactly where you want it to be. What I just remembered was I now know why the sun was in the wrong position for Auckland. If we go back, what you can see is I forgot to change the time zone. So the time zone is still coordinated universal time. They are 12 hours ahead. So now, as you can see, that is working perfectly now. For the 23rd of November, 2021, at half three in the afternoon in Auckland, it is midday. The sun is still up there, which now works a lot better. So as you can see, I was kind of like, that shouldn't be right. It should be middle of summer, but I kind of put my trust in the engine to know what it's doing, but it was my bad. I forgot to change the time zone. So again, make sure that you do read through all these different values carefully to make sure you're getting them perfect for you. So you change the latitude and longitude, and the time zone as well as the date and time and all that good stuff but i think that'd be it for this video as so we've done everything we've wanted to do i've just given you a brief overview of this plugin which enables you to have the real world sun position in your game for where you want your game to be set in the real world again it's a nice little easy plugin which is why it's a kind of quick video i've just given you the brief overview of the basics of what you need which again is the latitude longitude time zone date and time as well Again, once you've got it enabled, it's very easy to understand. It's very straightforward. This just essentially shows you how to enable it and really just show you that this is a thing which you can and probably should be utilizing because again, it's a great little tool. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.